Overweight took a huge toll on my life. After I had my daughter, I knew I needed a change. After surgery, I eliminated my diabetes, reduced my medications, and I just feel healthier. Now I can play with my daughter without getting winded, and I just have a much more fulfilling life. I'm Candace, and I've lost over 110 pounds for my weight loss surgery. North Vista Hospital's Center for Surgical Weight Loss program combines expertise, personalized service, and advanced techniques in surgical weight loss. Visit northvistahospital.com slash SWL to learn more. You wear a life jacket when you're out on the water and a bike helmet when you're out on the trail. Chances are you're a fan of Attic Confidence, and so are we, especially when you're out on the road. That's why the 2022 Chevy Equinox comes standard with Chevy Safety Assist. Six advanced safety features to help you stay safe. Find new confidence. Find new roads. Chevrolet. Visit Chevy.com slash safety to learn more about Chevy Safety Assist. Safety or driver assistance features are no substitute for the driver's responsibility to operate the vehicle in a safe manner. Read the vehicle's owner's manual for more important feature limitations and information. Welcome to the Beverly Hills Plastic Surgery Podcast. I'm Dr. Rovello, and I am here with my amazing and glorious co-host, Dr. Jay Calvert. How are you? Feeling glorious. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Good to see you, Dr. Rovello. Thank you. Always a pleasure. This, uh, this topic is a uh, tough one. It is. It is one that we are both very familiar with, and one that makes us both go, oh, Downsizing breast implants. Never an easy one. No, a lot of work. Yes. Uh, there's a lot to do. You got to be, you got to kind of be very observant at all the issues that you're going to encounter in taking somebody to smaller breast implants. Right. It is a, it's a tough job because generally someone's had breast implants for a while maybe they liked them at one point maybe they liked the size and then went on to have kids or became pregnant or weight gain weight loss for whatever reason now the implants are too large for them and they want to keep them but they want to go down to a smaller size the problem is well there's a lot of problems but one internally the capsule that lining around the breast implant is stretched out and has to be adjusted and fixed. Number two, the skin itself has been stretched out and needs to be addressed. And both of those things can be tricky to fix and they both can heal in completely opposite ways, which makes the healing process tricky to predict. Correct. And uh, the other thing that also comes up for me is the positioning of the inframammary fold. Mm. You know, because not only are you dealing with that capsular tissue, but because you're going smaller, well, and of course it's how much smaller you're going that makes a difference. A lot of times you have to adjust the inframammary fold. You have to raise it and close right. down the space. Yeah, especially, I mean, it's, it's been a very large implant that's been there for a little while. That fold will have dropped a little bit, which is not the worst thing in the world to address, but it does make the redraping of the skin and where you put your incisions tricky. Right. And that's the thing. A lot of times um, patients may also need a uh, full uh, anchor scar wise pattern mastopexy or they might need a peri areolar mastopexy or they might not need one at all. And that's sometimes hard to know depending on the size of the implant, how much mm -hmm. breast tissue there is. There's a lot right. of factors that kind of lead me as the surgeon when I see these patients to say, look, you got to kind of give me creative license to do the right mastopexy, to do the right downsizing. Maybe I can't go quite as small as you want to on this go. Maybe I can go, maybe I need to go smaller. Maybe I, I just need to make great looking breasts, but you have to tell me what your goals are so that I can match your goals with the anatomy and the situation at hand with the, the implant that's there, where the right. fold is, et cetera, et cetera. And the issue that arises a lot of times with these patients, I actually just had this consult yesterday, a woman that had breast implants, wanted to be smaller, and she comes in and she says, I just want them out. I just want the implants out. And I do hear that a lot. And I'm like, I, I just, I'm done with them. I want them out. And I say, okay, but that's going to leave you with an incredibly unattractive breast, especially if you have small breasts to start out with and you need a lift and you're taking skin and there's no breast tissue. And I show them pictures.